So starting out with our tour of the outer solar system, the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. So um, we've seen this image before. It's a map of the outer solar system. And here uh, in, the, in the inset in the top, this is the Kuiper Belt. And you can see it looks kind of like the asteroid belt, except for um, it's outside of Neptune's orbit rather than between Mars and Jupiter. So very similar, a disk of small objects all orbiting uh, within the solar plane. And here the outer planets orbits are these uh, colorful traces here. And Pluto's orbit is this yellow ring. And meanwhile, this larger orange track is a typical Kuiper belt orbit. So some of these are tipped slightly out of the solar plane. Um, they can be fairly eccentric, uh, but they're all generally bounded within this Kuiper belt. So you can see that it extends quite a long ways, um, especially compared to the inner solar system and even compared to the uh, paths of the outer planets. So this is a very, very large region of space. And even bigger than that, right, if we take this Kuiper belt and consider that that's this little blue box that we're seeing in the middle of this Oort cloud, um, our entire solar system's extent is much, much longer than just the orbit of Pluto, let's say. Right, so this Oort cloud stretches out much farther into space. And uh, as you can see, it's not um, primarily um, composed of objects that are orbiting within the solar disk. A lot of them are very out of plane so that the entire distribution of objects looks more like a sphere than a disk. Okay, so putting some numbers to these very large stretches, um, the Kuiper belt stretches from about 30 to 50 um, astronomical units. And remember, I guess Pluto's orbit is somewhere around, you know, 29 AU or something like that. So this is, you know, from about Pluto's orbit to 50 AU. Um, quite a wide stretch compared to the size of the entire solar system. And then this Oort cloud is way bigger than that. So its inner boundary is roughly around 2000 AU. So way outside the limits of the Kuiper belt. Um, and it stretches to about 50,000 AU. And this is just where the gravitational influence of the sun becomes small compared to the influence of any other stars in the vicinity. So this is basically the sun's gravitational sphere of influence holding in all of those objects of the Oort cloud. Uh, beyond the Oort cloud, the gravitational force from the sun is too small to keep objects in orbit, uh, especially when there's you know, other nearby stars that can sort of tug objects in their directions. All right, so uh, I hope this uh, helps you appreciate our very, very small place, even within our solar system. <laughs>